Hello there, Virgo. I'm Infinity and welcome to your video for the full moon on the 27th of February, 2020. It's just a few days away and we are coming to you with a reading, Tarot and Oracle. I was guided to get all of my cards out and for each individual sign, we'll just see what decks were to use and go from there. Without further ado, let's get right into it, Virgo. Okay, let's see. I'm feeling the light seers tarot. Moonology tarot. I mean moonology uh oracle. Angel Tarot. Dragon Fay Tarot. I mean, Dragon Fay Oracle. I keep messing that up. Um, Hidden Worlds. Wants to play. And possibly even a the Crowley Toth Tarot, possibly, possibly. So we have Light Sears Tarot, uh, Angel Tarot, Moonology, Dragon Fae, and Hidden Worlds. And we're going to start with Angels of Abundance angels of abundance so this i'm really excited about and welcome thank you for coming and joining and coming to this wonderful uh space um new new space that i've created here um this is going to be where i'm going to be doing my readings from now on i hope you like it we're in my little dining room of my home and it feels good to me and i hope it feels good to you uh, my name is infinity if you don't know me i'm a psychic physical empath medical medium channel or astral meditation guide i have lots of awesome meditations on my youtube so please check those out they're very healing um, i'm a channel and uh, a ascension coach and distance energy healer i work worldwide i do uh private reads and all sorts of stuff i'm also an artist so coming up my fingers in lots of different pots check out my website the uh it's called the healing butterfly dot org okie dokie <clears throat> starting with the angels of abundance virgo Oh, got one. Unlimited ideas. Look at that. Unlimited ideas. There we go. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, I like to say mother, father, God. Your mind is one with mother, father, God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas. Guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come into fruition. So you get awesome ideas. They come to you. You're divinely guided. You just have to see it through. You're, you're being given blessings, ideas. Here's another one. No more complaining, Virgo. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power and by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom, because you do. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. 
Yes, I love it. So if you find yourself complaining or whining or, you know, bitching, it's okay to vent every once in a while, but really complaining doesn't, doesn't take us anywhere. It just really keeps us in an energy of, of, yeah, being a victim or, you know, if it's always something rather than just going with the flow, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough one. Clean energy food. Oh, have we had, have we had issues with our diet, Virgo? Not, not eating very, very sensibly lately. When you find, oh, sorry, when you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. So the better you take care of yourself, the higher your vibration, the higher your vibration, the higher the vibration of other people that are going to come into your life. And that's just the way that it is. Um, and the more, so it's pay attention to what you're eating. Are you eating healthy? Are you cooking your own food? Are you, um, eating fast food, are you eating a bunch of junk food? Are you uh, not having a balanced diet? Any of that stuff. So, <clears throat> are you eating a lot of meat? Meat has a very, very low vibration. So, we're getting one more here. I'm hearing what's this? Attracting, not chasing. Wow, I'm making a mess here. Anything or anyone you chase after will run in the will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. So there's a try. No, I didn't show you the other ones. I forgot. I'll show you here in a second. Attracting, not chasing. Clean energy food. Look at how adorable. Clean energy food. So try not to eat animals as much as you can. I'm just that keeps coming. So it seems like maybe there's a little denial about how meat is making you feel lately, or you're just not making the connection. Like, oh, I feel super tired and blah, 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 blah. And you're not connecting that maybe you're eating meat and that's the problem. No more complaining. So whatever's gone on, whatever's going on, I'm also hearing, you know, it might be time to cut some cords to the past because it's still energy, still energy um, connected to the past. I'm seeing even these, the unlimited ideas thing, uh, this is being affected because of this other stuff. So no more complaining clean energy food and attracting, not chasing. And basically what that means is pay attention to yourself and don't compare yourself with other people. Um, that's what I'm hearing with this one, attracting, not chasing. Uh, So when you're paying attention to yourself and doing what feels good to you and not trying to satisfy other people or doing what you think other people may want so you'll get their attention. And I've done that. I've been like, well, maybe if I do it this way, maybe if I do it that way. And it's like, no, just do it the way, do you, <laughs> do you. And whatever's meant for you will come to you, a partner, a, a, a vocation um the right home uh the right ideas to put into the world okay moving on those are some really good ones so the the big one that's coming up there is please start associating how you feel with the with the uh food that you're eating if you're having a hard time with energy being really tired well, that didn't work at all. Being really tired, uh, having bad dreams, needing a lot more sleep. 
Uh, not that we don't get, uh, you know, not that we don't need to sleep if we're not eating meat, because that's definitely a thing, as we do get called into astral at specific times. Oh, this one right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What do you need to release? The waning mood. Hi, kitty. What do you need to release? Good question. What do you need to release? So kind of back to um, this no more complaining. What do you need to release? Cutting cords, I'm hearing. By the way, I have an amazing cord cutting um, uh, ebook and uh, podcasts. Uh, a podcast 82 and podcast 104 for your guided um, for information and then um, your guided self healing meditation on cord cutting. It's a divinely guided. All of my meditations are guided and channeled. I don't. I don't have much to do with them, but there are, so I can just say they're amazing. They're awesome. Please check it out. It'll really help you bring energy back into you. Release the past. Um, release the past, release what's holding you back. Let's see what we get here. Have faith in your dreams. Yay. Have faith in your dreams. Why is that so important? Because there's a reason that you that you have certain dreams in your life, right? There's, there's a reason why, why your body and your mind and your, your soul tells you one more I'm hearing. Oh, that's it. A win-win outcome is forecast. Look at that. That's great news. So what I'm feeling here is that you're like, you know what? <laughs> maybe I, maybe I, if you do, if you want to get in balance, you can get in balance pretty quickly. Um, and look at this right here. Look at how these moons are faced opposite directions. We've got the waning moon and the waxing moon. Look at that. Interesting. Because we've got what do you need to release and have faith in your dreams. So if we if we do some releasing, some cord cutting, some energy healing, some working on what's going on inside to clean that up, because it's a reflection of what's happening on the on the outside. So what you need to release and have faith in your dreams can come together for this win-win. This means that everything comes together and is in balance. So there isn't going to be like, oh, I got to let go of this and it's going to be a sacrifice or what, you know, that there's this not so good stuff attached to maybe following this path of releasing of healing of 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 seeing yourself in a, in a in a way where really taking care of yourself possibly you know cutting back on on alcohol if you partake of alcohol and things that are just genu genuinely and generally unhealthy because you're like huh there's this connection going on. And you're right. There is this connection going on. Um, let's do. We already did that. We already did that. Let's do. I'm feeling the Dragon Fate Oracle. Dragon. Oh, Dragon Fate Oracle. I already cleared these cards before we. Uh, began. Oh. Dragon Fae when I come out. Apollo Law. Oh, I love Apollo Law. This is good. I can see why Apollo Law came out. You are a peaceful being. You are a peaceful being. Love this. Card number four. Uh, where is it? There it is. Card number four. 
Oh, right to it. <laughs> Gotta love it when that happens. Apollo. Love Apollo. And that's Gilbert, by the way. Hi, Gilbert. Oh, oh, you're stuck in the lake. Sorry, babe. There you go. That's Gilbert. Hi, Gilbert. Hi, love bug. I know. He's like, oh, this is new. I know it is new. <laughs> I have a, a few cats, so you may see more than one. <laughs> okay. When this card is drawn for, oh, Apollo speaks, by the way. When this card is drawn forth, a sense of peace and new depths of serenity become truth for you. Simply breathe deeply and learn that your peaceful nature can become a daily source of delight and courage of, uh, of strength and beauty. Peace is like a quiet glade within, a sacred grove to which you can go and belong. Take strength and draw nourishment from this place within you and be sure to visit it daily. Practice acts of peace within your life. Be strong, be free, be blessed, and be at peace. When you come into this place daily, all around you will benefit. Do not mistake or confuse peace for inaction. Being a peaceful activist is one of the most dynamic and powerful choices a being can make in this world, now and ever. When all around you is drama and all within you feels in turmoil go to that place and know the truth of your being is peace is serenity is blessed and is free that is so beautiful and working oh sorry <laughs> uh, about apollo many legends say that apollo was a convert to Buddhism. But the truth is that Buddha and the dragon fey wisdom keeper Apollo shared many feelings, beliefs, and discussions. And the Buddha learned as much from him, oh, sorry, as much from the loving, compa compassionate heart of Apollo as Apollo did from the wide open eyes of Buddha. Apollo encourages you to take part in discussions about peace and will, and will support you in finding ways to promote peace on personal, practical, and global levels. You may be interested in speaking with people who have a uh, monastic life when this card is drawn. This card can also indicate that you have already experienced other lifetimes as a member of a Buddhist temple or monastery. Investigate this connection, but most of all, take care to be loving, peaceful, and harmonious in the present moment. Remember, Buddha loves laughter too. <laughs> and divinatory meanings. You are a peaceful being, being more peaceful, bring more peaceful, sorry, bringing more peace into your life. You may be wishing for more peace and for conflict on a personal and global scale to be done with. Please do not put your energy into fighting war. Instead, create peaceful moments wherever possible. This does not mean that you need to be weak or, or passive, but instead choose to draw incredible strength and do not waver from your choice to bring more peace in. Know that your conversations about peace and beliefs are bringing about change. People may have also told you lies about peaceful ways, meaning a lack of strength. This is not so. Which, or sorry, choose to be stronger, more, more peaceful, and watch harmony and joy flower in your life. And working with Apollo. Invite peace into your life by choosing to work with people and beings whose beliefs are aligned with yours and who are held with integrity. Understand that the conflict around you is a result of people attempting to control each other's hearts and minds and futures. Apollo teaches us the here and now when tended with love, create exciting and powerful outcomes for us all. Here, here. So I said, I love Apollo. He's so loving and peaceful um, and just uh, does not want you to, to be um, 
in a stressful place because he's saying when you're in a stressful place you're not feeling you're not connected to love because if you were connected to the love inside of you you wouldn't be in distress you wouldn't be in fear you wouldn't be in anger you wouldn't be complaining you wouldn't be um jealous you wouldn't be resentful you wouldn't be angry um and i'm hearing that there's this like struggle between like letting go and feeling like but my anger serves me and we get that and that's true sometimes our anger does help us in certain situations but those are very far and few between <laughs> typically anger is driven from a place of fear or a place of ego a place of not getting your way a place of lack of control um being hurt and pain you know it comes from all of those things and again if you're feeling that then you're not in a place of love if you're in a place of anger you're you're not in a place of love you're not so your vibration is is lower so the whole point that what apollo is trying to get to here is when you're at peace you're in love and when you're in love your vibration's high when your vibration's high then you can you can perceive the higher uh messages and wisdoms of the angels the archangels the fey the ascended masters um jesus merlin uh the marys uh um and so on and so buddha and um, ganesha and i mean it goes on and on and on i mean the the possibilities are truly endless for what you can tap into when you're coming from love because all of them come from love period the end period the end doesn't matter who we bring up here they're all going to be coming from love and sending you love and wanting you to be in love so you can be with them in love and um so anyway peace so tapping in with apollo love bringing peace into your life to work with people who you know are peaceful who you know are loving staying away from people who are negative who are um complainers themselves so stay away from gossips complainers people that are dark people that you know have issues with so much you know angry being angry <laughs> okay and let's do the hidden worlds let's get into that i want to get a little bit more smoky smokes here all right so feeling here so far like we should there's stuff that we need to to let go of stuff that we need to get in peace back in or be in peace maybe for the first time ever truly in peace i'm hearing like you don't even know what that's like maybe unfortunately you don't even know what that's like so maybe that even worries you Maybe it's one of those, um, I don't know. You think you're supposed to have this life of chaos or something, like you don't deserve peace, but that's not true. That is definitely not true. If, if your first half of your life was chaotic and dramatic and painful, then it's time to get to the second half. ASAP. It's up to you. Whoa. Card number 28, Mountain Goddess, coming to talk to you today, Virgo. Mountain Goddess. It's a really light card. So feel free to look this up on. Um, it's just very, very light. It's just she's coming from the 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 air the sky and she's over the entire mountain and it says card number 28 mountain goddess high vibration <clears throat> mindfulness power of the mind love it where's my book oh there it is i'm like it disappeared on me we're only getting one of these oops that's not where that goes, goes here. there we go um card number 28 oh almost one page removed on page uh 
90 and 91 mountain goddess coming to speak with you high vibration mindfulness power of the mind within you there are many powers many senses all the ways in which you fit uh oh in which your physicality reads the world within you there are many powers many senses all the ways in which your physicality reads the world but within you too are subtle energies and one of these is the immense power of your mind the mountain goddess calls to you to raise your vib vibration through tending the thoughts within not to censor or condemn, but to raise yourself up so you can be closer to the heavenly experience that is available to you when upon this earth. Exactly. You can tend the thoughts within you just as she tends to the mountain. You can teach divinity through uh, the care you take with the company you keep inside your own mind mountains take us higher we can climb them we are sustained and protected by them and they give us the opportunity to look out clearly and gain great perspective and wisdom because we are no longer amidst the uh minutiae of everyday life yeah when you're and i'm in the mountains by the way and when you're up in the mountains it's a much different feeling a much different perspective and especially when you go out on the on the edges of the mountain and you can look out the energy is different here everything is different here and some people um, may even avoid that because it really forces you to connect and get into get into a certain way um, about you It is now time for you to take your mind to this place of the mountains to fly free give yourself the relief your mind requires in order to be your great ally. Soaring minds are capable of great things. If you ask, this mountain goddess can intercede with great spirit on your behalf and allow you to, allow you the clarity, the perspective, the soaring freedom, and the powerful healing this mountain offers. Time into, oh, sorry, tune into this space set yourself free within her tender hands let the things of the world which have their beauty and their holy place fall away for this moment take yourself to this mountain and feel its protection its stabilizing energy and the respite from the mind filled with the worry that robs you of your true power oh boy this is let her care for you just for a while and then you re and when you return there will be answers where once there were questions solutions where once there were problems and compassion where there was once enmity illumination a higher perspective brings healing my mind can become as, as strong as a mountain oh my goodness so powerful so both Apollo Law and the Mountain Goddess saying very similar messages here. Um, you can be in peace. You can be in, in healing. You have to be intentional about um, how you want to feel and to raise your vibration so you can be closer to um, that's not the one. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening here? There we go. <laughs> but to raise you up so you can be closer to the heavenly experience that is available to you upon this earth. So that's the way that we, we, yeah, that we create our own heaven on earth is by being connected, is by tuning into our energy, by allowing ourselves to go through healing, um, to go to very spiritual, magical places and um, connect with, with it, not avoid it. Just let yourself be there. Um, 
So yeah, okay. It's the last thing I'm hearing here is just, it's very important for you to understand your viper, your natural high vibration I'm hearing is being impeded by, by things of the past, by things that have you have let to yet to let go of by just having a, a lifestyle that has been kind of rock and roll and, and, and difficult in this first half of your life. And, and there's still just your, you're still trying to um, understand about spirituality and peace and forgiveness and tuning into energies and uh, <clears throat> um, now I'm feeling that for people who have connected this way, that maybe you've been so busy that Maybe you've been so busy taking care of other people um, that you have not really been taking the best care of yourself. So it's maybe time for a vacation in the mountains, for you to reconnect, for you to get back into peace, for you to think about what needs to be released because maybe it's been six months and you're like, holy shit, it's been a while. I'm hearing, I'm hearing COVID could have a lot to do with that. You've gotten out of your routine. You've had to do things differently. You've had to readjust. So yeah, you've done some complaining. Yeah, you've had to chase some stuff because things are just not, weren't, you know, the way that they were. And, and um, but you have been getting this, them seeing unlimited ideas. And it's like, you have been connected. You have been getting, um. <clears throat> inspiration but you still you're still blocked it's like it's there's still things that just are not happening right now <laughs> okay moving on next let's do let's do the light sears tarot for you dear virgo it's going to, we're coming up with this full moon. This full moon is really going to be a catalyst for taking care of yourself. Seven of Pentacles, starting something new, creating something new, raising your vibration. There's that you plant or a tree, however you may want to see that. Starting off, here's next card, Five of Cups. <clears throat> next card, the Empress. the empress i'm hearing let's look at both the, the five and the seven i'm hearing mother earth is calling you we've got that full moon there more we need more here four of cups five of cups four of cups seven of pentacles The devil next. The emperor in reverse. See, now she came out in reverse too. We've got the empress. Sorry. Don't mean to be greedy. It's kind of in my thing here. <clears throat> um, she came out in reverse when I was told to make her go straight up because she's like, I'm reaching out. Gaia is reaching out. <clears throat> Excuse me. The devil, the emperor in reverse. There he is right side up. But he's coming up in reverse. Six of Cups. Digging it. Eight of Swords in reverse. 
actually really like this card in reverse. That's a good one for me. <clears throat> so we have seven of pentacles, five of cups, the empress, four of cups, the devil, the emperor, six of cups, and eight of swords. Okay. So we have four, five, six of cups, seven and eight, seven of pentacles, eight of swords. I'm seeing with this seven of pentacles, like you are, you're thinking about what you're going to do with your future. You're thinking about your divinity. You're thinking about your magic. Because look at his, look at, he's just like, oh, I've got some power here. Okay. <laughs> what am I going to do with that? Hmm. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot that can be done with that. There's a lot that can be done with that. But you're thinking, you're thinking, and you're upset and sad about some stuff. You're not over some stuff. We've established that. And, um, but you're thinking, but Gaia, the power of the moon, the power of Gaia, the power of your, your innate soul level connection to uh, Gaia, to that empress energy, to the mother energy is what that is, and to the energy of creation and being, being a creative being, being somebody who's connected very deeply, um, very deeply to nature, animals, um, just anything that's very earthy. Um, let's see here. I feel like you're still trying to make heads or tails with what to believe in. What do you believe in? What's real? What's magic? Are you magical? Are you powerful? Do you have special powers? What are you, um, the devil card I really see as, as a card to take you away from the, the illusions of not knowing the truth and needing to know the truth. And, and he is a very, he's actually a light being. If you could see the top of his head, his hair is all lit up. It's going straight up. And he's like reaching out to you to say, just let me show you. And, and you may think that this stuff is unnatural or, or whatever. You may be scared of your own power. But the truth is, is that you're a divine being. You're put on this planet to be the divine being that you are, the powerful divine being that you are. And this emperor card just is really kind of like your your guardian angel just waiting for you to like tap in he's there with you he's working with you it's it's always has been and those times where it's like you felt like i'm hearing you feel like the devil sometimes you feel like you're the devil like that's what you got going on inside so your power scares you so you're like do i release that power see how this is the eight of pentacles straight up it's like that's when we're like we're trapped um but you're in reverse here with your eight of pentacles but it's like do i release do i like do i allow this to go like what does that mean like and the fact of the matter is, is that there's just some wires crossed in how the energy is processed because of your past I'm seeing, because 
you you have been through some shit and you have a right to have anger to be to have that that unhealthy fire the the voices the ones that that perpetuate the bad thoughts about situations and people and keep those energy cords really active um but it's like you're you're over you're like i'm kind of done being in that energy it, it feels like it served me for a while there when i needed it but if anything it's just kind of wearing me out now and and now i'm just trying to figure out what do i believe in where do like what is real what is what is okay what is not okay what <laughs> this has been going on since childhood um is what i'm seeing here this kind of this battle of what is real what is not are you good are you evil um there's more going on karmically i'm hearing than you're allowing to come through to answer questions for you and it's kind of like what um uh i think it was the mountain goddess that said you know it's like once you open up to wanting to know the truth about things then you know you'll have your answers uh, but you have to take yourself to a certain place and allow for the truth to come in and the truth may not be you know may destroy some of those stories that have helped that have helped keep you in a state of unrest in a state of survival in a state of you know being upset or angry or in that state of being in chaos to some degree um that's kind of what i'm hearing here what do we got here card number two with archangel haniel the high priestess listen to your intuition have patience consider carefully what you want before acting and I think that that's kind of like what you're doing. You're like, what do I really, what am I going to do? And that's perfect. Think about it. Um, the high priestess is also, you know, you, um, oh, we have the emperor again, again, Archangel Michael. I should have mentioned it before. Archangel Michael is the um, archangel for the emperor card. And you got the emperor before here. Remember he was in reverse. Um, here we came out heads up with this and that's what I'm feeling. This is what I said. This is your, these are your guides just waiting to want to show your guardian angel, archangels, those who are connected to wanting to show and lead you the way they say, it's just a matter of acceptance. Like deep down, you know, you know, it's up. you know, it's up chew of water it's a great card so we have two so we have two of cups four of cups five of cups six of cups so there's a lot of healing a lot of clearing a lot of that sort of thing that needs to happen page of earth page of earth scholarly dependable patient successful what does it say um good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study yeah you're like what direction do i even go in here like i don't even know like it's so kind of overwhelming to me because you are starting to really go hmm uh what's this four of earth, the chariot, nice, with Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower. So this whole thing with peace, with going and getting in touch with, with spirit and going to the mountain and all of this, is uh, I'm hearing part of you know maturity, growing up, um, self, seeing yourself on a new level, going to the next level, um, taking that chariot, 
taking that chariot with you when you go um because it's just like up the mountain i'm hearing take the chariot up the mountain and all will be well things will start to make more sense um The, the clutter, like like they said, the, the, the crazy minutia and chaos of, of the city can be very oppressive and very difficult to hear those higher vibrations. And that's why it's necessary to go into a place like the mountains to get above it and be someplace that's so peaceful and connected to Gaia and nature and, and spirit to be able to hear and tap in. So if you're feeling like I'm confused, it's not clear. I'm usually like, like I feel better with my intuition, but I'm going through this thing. I'm not, you know, well, it could be where you're at right now physically. And that's why it's important to, to go into a different place, go to the mountain go to the mountain. Um, uh, there are two of water here, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, a positive resolution to a conflict. Uh, so it's like you want to move past. You're like, I really want to, but there's this darkness inside. There's this deep-seated anger inside that really needs to um, come out. There needs to be forgiveness. And maybe it's like, I just don't know how. There's just so much there. Maybe there's so much anger, but there's so much love, you know, even if for yourself. Like, I know I'm awesome, but I'm also scared of myself, that kind of thing. Um, what? Sorry, one of my cats are meowing. I can't figure it out. I don't know who. Um, and this other card that came out, the Four of Earth. So Four of Pentacles, this is about money. I'm just feeling like this thing with money, like it's temporary. And the sooner that you get in alignment with what's going on on the inside, the money thing is going to, really just sort itself out. It's just going to kind of fall to fall in, in line. Um, because you have, there's the page of earth, the four of earth. Again, you're being asked to tune into your intuition, intuition to ask for the truth. And I'm actually going to do a meditation for the truth. And ask for the truth, ask to be awoken to the truth, ask to let go of constructs and, and programming that may not be the truth. Ask to let go of anything that is that is false in your world and ask for the truth because the truth will truly set you free. The truth will really, really be able to get you up on that, on that chariot where you belong. You belong on the chariot moving forward. This is the energy that wants to come in for sure. For sure, this is the energy that wants to come in because I'm hearing you've got stuff to do. You've got stuff to do, Virgo, with your life, with your magic, with your spirit, with your mission, with your soul, with what and who you are. You've got stuff to do. So uh, you're the one, you're the only one who has you trapped. Let's be clear here. Let's be clear here. You're the only one who has you trapped your anger, your fear, your resentment, your unwillingness to maybe change some stuff to, to really kind of, like I said, the maturity, the growing up, but it's like you're, 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 this is upside down. This is in reverse. So it's, so it's like, you're nearly there. You're nearly there. You're, you're, you're like, yeah, that's, that's an illusion. Look at That's a mirror. That's not really what's happening. That's a mirror of what she's she's like seeing, but that's not actually the case. Got the emperor twice here. Michael, Archangel Michael coming in hot and strong, hot and strong, Virgo. So he's saying, hold on.
He's saying, I can make this so much easier for you. I can make this so much easier for you. Please, please allow me to. He's coming in twice. You're not listening. You're like this. Like just upside down and looking the other way. You're just like, da, 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 you're not there. And he's like, no, I'm here. I'm really, really here. <laughs> it's not, it's not silliness that you're feeling and thinking. It's the truth. Ask for the truth. You'll see. Ask for the truth and you'll see. You'll see what the truth is. That is the truth. I can make it so much easier for you, he says. I can make it so much easier for you. Queen of water. Again, relationships develop to a new level. So this is also talking about that, like with Michael, but also how that translates in your real life, in your like, you know, physical life with people other than just, you know, those who guide you on the other side. And the next one that came out, Queen of Earth. So that's Gaia. Queen of Earth is Gaia coming through again. So very much so we didn't, you didn't, we didn't pull the Empress, but again, but we have the Empress here. We have Queen of Earth here. Um, so Gaia really reaching out through her mountain, through her mountain goddess saying, please connect. Please allow us who are trying so hard to reach you <clears throat> to help you through this. It doesn't have to be this hard. It doesn't have to be this hard. Okay. So Virgo. Um, you have. This is the perfect time for you to. <clears throat> decide this today is the 222 portal the um that i'm doing this reading we did get a couple of twos here we got two with the high priestess we got two of water we got two queens we got two emperors uh we got what else did we get we got a lot of double double doubles we did get a lot of cups, which does signify healing and just contemplating and thinking about let's what, where are we going here with this, with this new flow? And I think you'll find that, you know, the stuff that you've known your whole life, especially if you think back to when you were a child, speaking of which I did a heal the, um, healing your inner child and integrating the inner child meditation, um, just last week, one of those power three, and today is the power four that um, that I did uh, in this time period for the the uh, the portal, uh, the two twenty two portal. So it really feels like there's going to be this big shift. Like like there's been like, yeah, I know I know what I know, but I'm not ready to go there yet, kind of thing. And when the time is right, I know I'll feel it. And, and until then it's not going to happen. That's just the way you are that intuitive. You're like, if the energy isn't right, if the timing isn't right, if things aren't right, I'm not going to do it. And so you've been, you've been in a holding pattern, but just know that with this portal, and I know this is a full moon reading, especially with this full moon coming in, um, it's a win-win situation a win-win situation. So it is going to be perfectly okay. Everything's going to be great and okay. Have faith in your dreams. What do you need to release? Who do you need to release? Who do you need to cut cords with and reset cords with? Who do you need to officially let go of that's holding you back, that's keeping you distracted? Um, I know it's a lot, but it's all to get you going in the, in the direction that you need to be, because here's the thing, you know, again, with this high priestess, like that is you, you're super powerful, very intuitive, super psychic, Peniel coming in to say, you even work with your super psychic with animals. Um, babies and children love your energy. So, and you've had, you've had metaphysical, spiritual, uh, experiences. And sometimes you thought 
you were dreaming. And it's like, no, have faith in your dreams. Like that, like on the other, just like the other side of that, have faith in what you see to what is coming through for you to see and perceive that that's actually real. And, and you have that ability to see those things. And I guess, lastly, I'm going to leave you with, um, this taking a look at this devil card and seeing this as a savior, seeing you as maybe, maybe what you thought yourself was the devil or influenced by the devil or had some evil or, you know, any of these things that can be healed, that can be let go of, that can be released and that you can take the hand of those who come to help you like Michael twice with this emperor, the emperor cards coming out twice here with, with Michael, with Gaia coming in so strongly. It just happens to me that those are the two almost top tippity top next to Raphael um, and possibly uh, Merlin um, and Gabriel that I work with the most is Gaia, number one, and Michael, like number two. They are so totally, um, very, very strongly connected with me and um, how I heal, how I work, what I do with my guidance and all that stuff. So trust me when I say connecting with them can only improve your life, can only connect you to who and what you are and what you're meant to be and your special powers, your special gifts, um, your abilities that are meant to be put forth into the world. You also are very creative, I'm hearing. You're artistic. You love to create. That's kind of like feels really, really good to you. Um, you have a very ex, um, expressive imagination. You're very passionate, um, but you're also very logical and very reasonable. And um, your, your bridge to this side of, from, from the earthly kind of matrix life of it, you know, fantasy is fantasy and magic is, is that's just not, you know, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things. It's like you, you, you believe, but you're also resistant, even though you've got it inside of you. So it's this internal struggle of what, how much you're willing to allow yourself to get into there. Okay. That's it. Thank you so much Virgo for being here. I hope that this resonated with you and that you take action in these ways. Um, and that you, uh, cut cords and, and do these meditations that I have. They will really, really help you. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of this video. And I hope to see you again. And um, again, visit my website, thehealingbutterfly.org and see if I can help you personally with any of this stuff. I would be more than happy and blessed to do so. I have lots of different services and uh, brand new ones too. So please check those out. Bye for now.